Hey, what's going on everyone? So a long, long time ago, I probed Lightning, and to kick off the level 80 Crystal Awakenings, she also got her Burst and her LD, and even a second alternate costume. I was very fortunate and got her LD, so this Lightning is going to be striking a lot more than twice. If you're interested in what the Knight of Etro does, what she offers to a team, and what I think of her, stick around and find out. Yakitsukero! <laughs> Lightning is a physical damage dealer who gets a large amount of free turns and free skills. She's able to self-enchant and imperil Thunder, enabling her in all fights that can make use of that, and can also unbreak, delay, and has a fairly smooth, natural rotation. Before I go over Lightning's abilities, I'll explain her two stance buffs, Ravager and Commando. Ravager is granted by her skill 1, while Commando is granted by her skill 2. Both grant access to enhanced basic attacks, with the brave attacks gaining one more hit and the HP attacks gaining self battery and one brave hit. Both also stack to two, and you gain a stack by using either the same skill again or one of her enhanced basic attacks. At two stacks, the opposite skill is enhanced to a plus form, i.e. Ravager 2 unlocks skill 2 plus and Commando 2 unlocks skill 1 plus. Having either level of Ravager also grants her EX a plus form, but I'll touch on that later. With that quickly out of the way, let's check out her skills. Her skill 1 is Spark Strike, a 3 hit thunder HP attack with 10% brave return. Using it grants Ravager and a generic attack buff. At 2 stacks of Commando, this is improved to Spark Strike Plus which has higher strength, brave return, and overflow. Her skill 2 is Flourish of Steel, also a 3 hit HP attack but this one doesn't have an element, and trades the brave return for higher overflow. This one grants Commando and a generic regen buff, and at 2 stacks of Ravager, this skill is improved to Flourish of Steel Plus, which has higher strength and overflow. Her EX is Army of One, at base a set of 3 HP attacks with 1 brave hit, 2 brave hits, and then another 2 brave hits before each, with increased strength when breaking or attacking broken. This skill will actually heal lightning based on the damage done up to a limit, and will also delay the target 1 turn. While either level of Ravager is active, this skill is enhanced to a plus form, which adds another turn of delay. Either form of her EX will grant her Knight of Etro, which raises max bravery, attack, and grants lightning a thunder enchant. On top of that, it also gives her a free turn when breaking mechanic while it's active. It will not affect an active commando or Ravager buff's stack count. The EX plus improves lightning tremendously, pretty sensible for a primary damage unit. Realization improves strength and overflow which is pretty standard, but also applies a thunder imperil to the target after the first HP attack as well as giving 20% brave return after the first and second HP attacks, letting lightning enable herself and already decently improving the EX cast. One ingot is a stat boost and also has lightning preserve the duration of active buff icons when she uses the EX, which is very handy since she gets so many turns. Two ingots gives her starting knight of etro, a free no turn rate first turn with free skill, and 80% EX gauge, meaning you skill, then you can EX immediately as her opener, basically eliminating Lightning's ramp up time. As strong as that is, 3 ingots is even more powerful offensively. It improves the EX cast from a 1, 2, 2 set of brave hits into 2, 3, 4 set, along with higher strength and an unbreak at the start if the target is already broken. To top it off, she gets further enhanced HP attack variants for both Ravager and Commando with Ravager having greater brave gain and Commando adding another brave hit to the attack. Her LD is Crushing Blow, which first unbreaks all enemies and does a 4 hit thunder group attack with single target HP damage twice, applying a group thunder imperil after the first HP attack. It does two notable things. Firstly, on Lightning's next turn, she'll actually get two free turns with instant turn rate and free skills, which basically ensures an EX cast will be available for even more right after. Secondly, it grants her a unique effect, Savior of Souls, which for the party grants Brave Regen based on max bravery and increases damage when breaking or attacking broken, and for her, increases her HP damage dealt and her overflow. As you'd imagine, very helpful with her EX being 3 HP hits. The LD passive raises her attack. Her burst finisher is Gestalt Drive, a 10 hit thunder HP attack done twice. The burst effect is pretty strong since it highly boosts the effectiveness of brave attacks, as well as boosted HP damage when breaking or attacking a broken target. It has a long duration on paper, but with how many turns Lightning can steal, it may go down faster than you expect. Lightning has already received a rerun and LD extension as part of the refresh start dash banner along with Squall and Cloud, so here's what she has in store for her. No second rework, and similar to Kuja, her LD extension is pretty minimal consisting of a potency increase and 20% brave return after the first HP hit. 
Not a lot, but since that's her LD extension, it means she also gets her LD call then. And of course, there's the fact that Lightning, as is, is pretty good. Not all the extensions can be winners. I'm looking at you, Kuja. Thinking about it, every time Lightning has gotten something new, she's done well in this game. Back before EX weapons, Flourish of Seal was a standout ability, and Lithico was a classic team comp back then for anyone who had those 35 CP weapons. When she got her base EX, at that point in the game, it was really good thanks to free skills and free turns. When she got her EX Plus along with the rework, she became incredibly strong for the time and just so happened to also be part of a really good banner for new and old players alike. And now, with her LD, Burst, and also Lufenia armor, she's reminding people of just how good she is along with the added longevity and strength that Lufenia would ask for for a primary damage unit. The fact that she gains means of party benefit outside applying a Thunder in peril is just icing on the cake. There are two main gripes I had with Lightning that are for the most part alleviated thanks to her new gear. The first issue is she has low hit counts on her base skills, both only have 3. This is fewer compared to the likes of Squall, Arden, and Noctis. However, because she can hit weakness and her Lufenia armor lets her break the single hit damage cap by 15%, it helps her make up for the difference. That same idea is also a solution to my second problem with her, which is the problem all turn stealers have in that they are more dependent on brave return and regen effects than being able to be batteried by allies. Lightning's had regen available in her kit ever since she arrived in the game, and her LD buff helps her out even more with that. I wish he had just a bit more, like how Arden gets some extra brave return when breaking a target with his skill 1, but since she can still get like 3 or more turns in a row, it can still work out especially with the HP damage up effect she gets from her LD. With Noctis and Arden bursts behind us, there really isn't anyone coming in the future who has the same sort of hunger for turns and hunger for damage the way Lightning does. If you squint your mind a bit, then Ultimecia is kinda similar to Lightning, since they both have an EX that's key to their longevity and rotation, as well as having very consistent free turns in a different way, but really that's about it. After that, there is Aranea who has the same free turn on rig mechanic as lightning, but trades skill spam for great enhanced basic attacks, thus requiring more time in between EX casts. She also can't enable herself in fights the way lightning can, so if an enemy resists range damage in some way, you'll need to accommodate for that. The closest I may be able to say would be Tifa, since with her rework and her LD, she just puts out an insane amount of damage with great longevity and a good amount of free turns, but honestly, Tifa LD is just straight up worth pulling itself. Not to mention, Tifa doesn't have a burst. There isn't really anyone with the turn by turn playstyle that Lightning does. Some units have the turn manipulation, some have the break manipulation, and others have the frantic, constant skill usage gameplay, but no one really has it all together at the same time like Lightning. Hey, quick editing insert here, since things have happened on the Japanese side of things ever since I started this video. Namely, Titus getting a rework and his new weapons. His rework gives him a follow up and it being part of his base kit is pretty dope and his LD gives him access to both a stronger follow-up and an offensive unique effect that's always active. He also gets free skills and free actions after his LD cast like Lightning, has a similarly speedy EX recast, and along with his natural high turn rate also gets force breaks fairly consistently. He has the same brave damage boost as well as the HP damage boost effect from Lightning's burst effect, and for him, he gets double follow-ups. In my opinion, there's more space to let the party act with Tidus' turn manipulation than with Lightning's. So yeah, that's a purple lightning. Somehow, whenever she got an upgrade, it has always put her in the spotlight, and since she gets a burst too, now is obviously no exception. Her LD adds onto her natural skill longevity while also giving her even more free turns, and her ability to hit higher brave and HP damage gives her a lot more punch for every one of those actions. The next burst unit with this sort of continuous damage I will not say is Sephiroth, but actually Cloud, since he gets a rework and his sometimes shirtless adversary does not. Cloud, however, has the majority of his damage via non-elemental ranged attacks, and trades delay and free turns for guaranteed paralysis and launching, but he also delays. He, Lightning, and Squall will all be available again next when the start dash banner is overhauled and relaunched with full kits including LDs and bursts for those three, which is currently projected at the end of March, during the period of, but not including, Paladin Cecil's burst. If you like this breakdown and discussion of Lightning and want to see others like it, or want to share your opinion or get more Opera Omni content, stick around, hang out in the comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again.